We are playing Holdout 2.0 from the Steam repository, or workshop rather. The whole thing is a scenario in Arma 3 where you are supposed to defend a certain position. There's going to be 40 waves coming in with soldiers. Uh, you can set various difficulty levels and you can choose from three predefined locations or you can go to a custom location. There is a how to play instructions inside the game and also on the Steam Workshop. Um, yes, and uh, it's a lot of fun um, playing a single or as, uh, as uh, a group with co-op. There's many locations to choose from. Uh, we've tried out to play in various other cities. Uh, you can select when you make, uh, for example, if we were to select one of the uh, uh, smaller cities, like uh, let's say we go to Talos here, for example, uh, you could choose the military complex next to it and uh, choose that as a location to defend. And then you'd have to select um, four directions from which the enemies will approach your military complex. And yeah, 40 waves. For now, we're just going to start off at the northern island where we are going to gear up a little bit. <clears throat> and uh, this is the thing I like with Arma 3. They have the arsenal where you can uh, import and uh, save your loadouts. Right now I'm carrying an MK1 for some reason. I have a lot of different... <laughs> different loadouts. I'm just gonna go with this random thing. Which is an MK18 with a scope. It's the RCO I believe. Yes, ARCO Green Hex. I'm actually gonna switch to the regular RCO. If I can use that better. You can use the Night Stalker, it's really preference preference thing, but I like the RCO since it has the holo and stuff. <clears throat> so first this is the flag. You go here and you select teleport and it will teleport you to your uh, selected location where you're supposed to defend. When you die you can uh, teleport back there after you reload here which is to be recommended it's a great scenario for firing drill and practicing your strategies and tactics in combat and you also have a lot of in-game um, features and options you can the normal switch between weapons but you can also if you see at the upper left corner here I have some yellow text heal self refill ammo and toggle earplugs pretty uh, self-explanatory. Heal self is to heal yourself. It takes about five seconds so if you get shot during those five seconds it's uh, it's all your fault. We're gonna do um, I don't know whatever. If arms castle or are we gonna do uh, free knee I think. You will be teleported shortly Boink. Here we are. Check your map for waypoints. Roger that. We're gonna check. And they're gonna be coming from down range pretty much uh, on the field there. The first wave of cadets will be approaching I think from this direction. East. Somewhere down there should be visible real soon. Oh, actually, I am uh, retarded. I'm looking in the wrong direction. Cannot use the compass. 
better set a waypoint. And since I'm doing this as a single player, wave two is coming. And these guys are probably already approaching. I'm gonna go up the tower and be a retard, like anyone else. You can see them run there. I'm going to first person mode. My aim is potato. Yeah, they spotted me. So, better get down. Real quick. Not a good idea. Oop. Better get it not a position. I don't know. I'm doing this by myself, so this is not gonna be easy by any means. Try to flank them a little bit. Have no visual on them. Except those guys. Ah. Down. Ouch. Now you cannot. If I can make it, you can see this using the healing kit. Full health in five seconds. And I'm in full health. We have a helicopter incoming. Airplugs, of course. Oh, and they got me. <laughs> but yeah, this is a really good uh, and a fun scenario to play if you're like uh, interested in uh, dealing with combat situations. I'm gonna do the holdout thing again. Just double click it Get in here. Then you just do the teleport thing again. Ready. And you'll be. Unfortunately, I landed straight in the in the group of people here, which is not recommended. Also, if you use grenade, it will have a negative impact on your statistics. So now we're gonna go with the uh, madman load, which is. Uh, Yeah, you'll see. It's really difficult when you're like coming into uh, the actual in the midst of the group there. And this is just uh, the beginning of things. I'm gonna try and put some smoke in here. And you die. <laughs> as long as you kill more than you die, then it's good enough. Let's try that again. Madman fit. Control G to select some smoke grenades to confuse the fuckers.
And I died. Glitchy, glitchy, glitchy. Anyway, um, that was Holdout 2.0. It's uh, in the Steam Workshop. I'm gonna put a link to it in the uh, description area. I'm also gonna put up a video um, after this with a friend of mine and uh, we're gonna try out uh, custom locations and some other locations. Um, you can do it by yourself, but it's really hard when you're trying to defend one position ball by yourself. But uh, you're gonna need some friends and stuff. So we're just gonna do this uh, last suicide round, which is uh, me going in with grenades. Yes, they died. And as you see, my uh, kill stats over here went from 18 to 17, which means when you kill somebody with a grenade, you get a negative impact because you're supposed to shoot them and not throw grenades at them. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, get error, I suppose. I don't know.